Hey guys, it's Lacey, and I hope that you're just as excited as I was when I learned that there was peel and stick backsplash. So this is much less expensive and way faster and easier to apply than regular tile, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Hopefully you didn't do the DIY glitter backsplash because we got to start with the smooth surface. So I just sanded it down and tried to get as much glitter off of my wall as possible. You want to start with a clean surface, so make sure that your wall is free of grease, dust, dirt, food, whatever. Surprise! I got these off of Amazon. These are Chris Tiles, and they look like real tile. These are amazing. The link is going to be listed down below. They come in a pack of six, and these are 10 by 10. So you need to measure your square footage, make sure you have enough, and we can get started. So here, when you take the tiles out of the box, you see that it says overlap here. And so that's exactly how we're going to apply it. We're just going to make sure that we overlap them like a puzzle. And they go together like this. So you can also lay them out, make sure it's how you want it before you even get started. Because once these are up on the wall, you don't want to take them off because the sheet will be ruined. So I'm going to start on the left side of my wall. And because each of these sheets only has one overlap tab, I'm going to cut the opposite side of that. That way I can make that flush and make that straight and it'll go up against the wall. And before I remove the backing, I'm just going to hold it up against the wall and make sure that it's straight, make sure it's how I want it. And then I can go ahead and remove the protective sheet. And would you look at that? Beautiful. This is when my palms got sweaty and I got super nervous, but then I just reminded myself how much worse it could be if I didn't put this on there because look at my backsplash right now, you guys. It's a complete mess. <laughs> And all was good with the world again. I just aligned the sheet up how I wanted it, and I just stuck it on. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. And my other side of that sheet is going to have an overlap here. That way, the following sheet that goes next to it can fit into it perfectly like a puzzle. Press and seal it into place and keep moving along. Just keep doing the same thing until you come to an outlet. This part gets a little tricky, but it's a lot easier than I thought it would be, and it's a lot easier than using real tile. So I just figured out where my outlet is, and then I just cut, made a cut for it, and just stuck it right back into onto the wall. Do the same on the other side. And you just want to keep repeating this step over and over and over again. So I'm just going to speed this up here. So because I can't just leave my backsplash like this, and because the bottom of my cabinets and the top of my counters is taller than 10 inches, I got to finish this part up right here. So it's actually really easy. I just take a sheet, measure it up, and because these are tiles, I can actually just count how many rows I need. Cut it off and just keep doing the same thing. Just stick them on there, you guys. Just put it together like a puzzle. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up. I'm going to put some music on for you guys. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. All right, guys, here it is. It's all done. I love the way it looks. It's like a brand new kitchen. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I've also seen this done on mirrors as a border, and I think it looks really cool. So I will talk to you guys later, and as always, check out my blog for additional tips and photos. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, you're still watching? Well, go watch this video.